Welcome back. We are joined here uh, in the studio by some friends of ours from Orient Art Center. Uh, this is Mo and this is Holly. Um, and they are here to talk about the Dragon on the Lake Festival. It's coming up very soon. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Yeah, so we're what, about a month away? And, uh, we are a month up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yep. Um, the Dragon on the Lake will be happening this year, um, Thursday, August 25th, and it will run through Sunday the 28th. We'll close off with our Dragon Boat races. This has become, I think, Lake Orion's biggest event of the year, wouldn't you say? I think so, and, and I will say that we just did um, something with the township uh, for um, a, a grant that we did, and we were talking about heritage and what, what things are, you know, in Orion are, are tied back to our heritage, and I, you know, we explained Dragon on the Lake is one of those things. We're dragons, mm -hmm. and, and where did that come from? So, yeah. yeah. Well, and, you know, I don't know if you know, but Dragon on the Lake actually was inspired by the myth that there was a dragon that w has been seen in Lake Orion. And the Art Center has been hosting this event since 2008. Wow. Um, so it's, it's really become the end of the summer um, bash for Lake Orion and it is our biggest fundraiser for the Orion Art Center and there's so many ways we can get involved. Right. Now it, it was created to celebrate the Art Center's anniversary, right? It was 30 years I think it was, was the Dragon on the Lake was, they wanted a big celebration to celebrate the Art Center's anniversary and it just really took off and it grows every year. What, what kind of events and things do you have planned for this year's event? Right, so um, opening Thursday night, we have our um, Dragon Pub. We're going to have, every night we're going to have live entertainment. The first night is a band um, called um, Freelance, and it's a really great cover band. They cover 80s to today cover band um, songs. And the um, following days, we have live entertainment in both um, tents, the Dragon Pub and the Tiki um, tent. Yeah, and the cover bands are um, bands that have been coming back every single year. So Lake Orion, you're familiar with them. Um, on Saturday evening, we are going to have, I'm sorry, Friday evening, we're going to have Sunset Boulevard, um, the 80s hair band, come back out. And then, <laughs> of course, on Saturday, um, Square Pegs comes back out. Ooh, yes. I always love Square Pegs. They yeah. They're good. Yeah, they're they're really so good. fun. Every one of Lake Oregon loses their voice after this weekend. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah. So I have a question, though, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's been done for a while, because I have to admit, for the last mm -hmm. two years, I haven't been able to go because mm -hmm. we've been at band camp with my kids. But I do remember one year we had this big... Remember the big foam, the big foam? Yeah, thing they, were, they shot eyes. foam into oh the my, crowd. That, yeah, yeah. I lost my voice on that one. That <laughs> one was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So I'm not yeah. sure if it's coming back, but I would, mm -hmm. I, listen, if you send a survey out, I'll, I'll check the box <laughs> for that. <laughs> now, one thing I'm excited about is uh, on Friday, August 26, which mm -hmm. happens to be my birthday, uh, uh, right the down. Lighted Boat Parade yes. is returning for the first time mm -hmm. in a few years. Yes. Talk about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are so excited um, to actually have um, a great Lake Orion um, Lake Association here, mm -hmm. and they are actually going to be hosting the Boat Parade. Um, the Boat Parade is so fun. It, again, it, this event has really become the end of the summer event. Um, so what happens is everyone decorates up their boats and they come out. Uh, we have a panel of judges. It is free to enter this. So if you have a boat, decorate it, go on the website and go register your boat. Um, there are cash prizes and not only that, you get bragging rights. Right. Oh, of yeah. course. You can also view the <laughs> parade from rice. Greens Park um, <laughs> at 8.30 on Friday. Yeah. And I just found out that um, on Lola's Facebook page, they have tutorials on how to help you decorate your boat. So if oh, you're cool. thinking, like, I don't know how to do that, that seems pretty overwhelming. <laughs> they have tutorials, <coughs> videos, ideas, and just the great information there for you to look at to get your boat registered. And yeah. that, that yeah. one boat that... that with the fire, it'll be, right? That should be returning oh, this year. Be. Uh, it was lost for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, the, oh. the guy who mm -hmm. always piloted that boat, which wasn't an official entry, but mm -hmm. um, it would always lead the parade. He moved out of state, and everyone said, well, where's his boat? Mm -hmm. Apparently, they tracked it down, and it should be making yeah. uh, an there's appearance. Yeah, there's a lot of progress there. being made on yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's currently being, re um, being fixed up, so, mm -hmm. you know, we're hoping that it will be out, because that ha is a boat that everyone right. looks forward to. I mean, right. who doesn't love seeing a dragon breathing boat? <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. That was just always the coolest uh -huh. thing. 
And when I tell people yeah. that uh, I'll be working on my birthday, they're like, why are you working on your birthday? And I'm like, well, I'll be on a pontoon <laughs> on the lake, yeah. a beautiful summer night uh -huh. with food and, and friends. Uh -huh. It's not really work. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. It's a birthday so, party. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's really popular that I get a kick out of is, is the Chalk Art Challenge. Yes. Do you want to talk yeah. about that? Yeah, so actually that was one, the the event that actually started Dragon the Lake. That was um, an original. And of course, we are the Art Center. Um, we want, um, we, we want everyone to come and register. If you um, take take your art to the to the uh, pavement, um, we will provide um, some supplies for you. But all of the rules and regulations are on the website. Um, we do still have some entries open. Again, cash prizes um, for winners. And it's all all artistic levels, you know. And mm -hmm. that's one of the art center's main goals is to bring art to the community, no matter what your artistic level is. You know, no matter your age or where you are in life, like art is for everyone. And yeah. the chalk art um, program is a really good way just to put your skills on on display and just bring the whole community together. Right. So there's different categories for students and teams. You can get a team together if it's not oh. something you want to compete on your own. You can get yeah. a group of friends together, and it's really a fun event. Joe, well, we can do it together, and I'll just, <laughs> I'll just draw like a stick. I'll lay like, there. Like, it'll be you can do a <laughs> police outline. outline Perfect. For we can do that. We'll win. That's very creative. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of creative uh, no. ideas come out of this. Did you get your request in not to rain that weekend? Uh, oh. Make sure you put I that I was request really hoping in. you would not say that. I was like, we're getting it out of the way. Hey, <laughs> There's no rain. No, it never rains in Lake Orion. There you go. That's right. Um, and then, of course, the whole thing wraps up on Sunday with the popular dragon boat races. I understand you're still looking for teams. Yes. We are, yes, yes. We are still looking for teams. Um, it is such a blast. Um, just imagine a 44-foot boat um, <laughs> with 21 of your most favorite people. <laughs> um, all skill levels are welcomed. Um, our, all skill levels are welcome. We will provide a steer person for you to keep you on course. Um, but it is just, it's a blast. And mm -hmm. it's all about just having fun and meeting new people. Even if you don't have 21 people, you can register as an individual um, or register your register your um, team. And if there's a few that do fall off, you know, we have individuals that can fill in for you. So it mm -hmm. is so much fun and it's something that you definitely um, have to be there to experience. It's yeah. also um, a great way for um, your company to get involved. Let's sure. say like mm -hmm. a certain restaurant wants to rival the restaurant next mm -hmm. door. It's fun to get teams going, kind of competing against each other, and mm -hmm. a great way for nonprofits if you want to get a boat together and you know race advertise and race for your nonprofit. It's a really great way to get involved in the community. And there's recognition for team spirit yes. and uh, yes. oh, you can see in the video that everyone just yes. has yes. a black yes. dressing up costumes. and acting crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Bring on the costumes because <laughs> that is uh, that yeah. that is like one of the best awards. There. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. you do get a practice day on Saturday so mm -hmm. you're not going into this blind. We prepare you and you're you're ready to race and you, you know what you're doing by the mm -hmm. time Sunday comes around and it's heats, um, you're um, babbling down to your last um, final three. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're playing for that coveted dragon yes. trophy you saw trophy at the beginning of the video. A big wooden dragon that has a little nameplate for all the winning yeah. teams mm -hmm. over the past few years. Um, the Island Bombers for a number of years were the dominant team and then that team sort of got <laughs> dissolved and then uh, the Bernie Directive oh is the team to beat now. So yeah, right. you got to yep. knock them off their little pedestal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this year Myers is our presenting sponsor and they are bringing on a team and they are excited. Oh. So you know what, Bernie? You, you better register your team. I haven't seen you yet. Throwing <laughs> down the gauntlet. Yeah. Take care, Bernie Directive team. Oh, I can that's tell so you, great to bring my It's own. really fun. It's yeah. really fun. It's not hard to do. I've done it twice, and I went in totally not knowing what it was going to be like. They do train you. It is a lot of fun, so I highly recommend um, Awesome to watch, too. It's and, great. Um, you know, there'll yeah. be shuttles going back and forth. All that will be on the website, too. And the weekend, uh, we'll have um, schedules posted and put on social media to kind of mm -hmm. figure out where to go and what time. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, I had heard some talk about uh, getting the high school involved, possibly on Saturday. Has that been confirmed? Yeah, that is something that we are working on. Um, it should be confirmed this week. Um, we really wanted to get the younger crowd um, involved. And um, 
and you know all the football teams there's been some interest in that and oh, yeah. Nobody's more competitive than football teams. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah, so we're we're excited. Sure. We're excited to get that the button that buttoned up um, and announced that you know we're going to have the high schoolers out. So and yeah. are they going to be paddling those same uh, yes. boats? Yes, wow. yep. And they'll be it'll be on Saturday. Um, and of course, since they are young and um, athletic. No practice for them. We're just going to throw them in. <laughs> <laughs> a t a boat filled with high school football players, are they, they got to warn them that there's a speed limit on the lake. I know. <laughs> They're going to create nope. a rooster right. tail as they go down the lake. That's going to be terrifying. That would be cool. So we'll have the two separate days for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah the, I don't think any of us yeah. want to be against the, the, the young guns. But there. it'd be no, fun thank possibly you. having, you know, mm -hmm. other high schools and mm -hmm. the surrounding yeah. areas. Oh, and wow, yeah, trying to get as many people as possible. Yeah. involved and in, into yeah. our downtown area. That'd be great. Yeah. So to find out more information and to get involved, uh, tell people how they yes. can get, find out. Please go on to our website. It's www.dragononthelake.com. And um, there's so many ways to get involved. Um, we didn't, there's something for everyone on the weekend. Um, there's a merchant's market. We'll have local artists and crafters come out. There's going to be food trucks out. So you have great food. Don't forget the booze. There'll be booze as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, it, it's going to be a great time. Even for the kids, there's going to, we have a kids zone with uh, live entertainment um, and kid activities. Um, for Saturday and Sunday, so there is something for everyone. Bring the family out. It's going to be a blast, and um, mm -hmm. it's a great way to just say bye to summer and get the kids ready for um, to go back to school. Yeah. And that, that <laughs> website's a great tool if you're mm -hmm. interested in being a vendor, signing up for Dragon Boats, um, the Kids Zone, anything. There's a slot on the website to fill your application out right mm -hmm. online. So it can all be submitted there, and we'll contact you after we receive the applications. Mm -hmm. And info at orientartcenter.org. If you have any email questions, you can always send us an email. Mm -hmm. and we'd be happy to answer the question. Will right the art there. center be open to the public that weekend? Uh, is there any exhibits or anything going on that weekend? That uh, you know of? There, we are actually holding off on our um, next um, exhibition. That's going to be in September. Um, okay. But the center will be open for um, volunteers and um, kind of a home base for that um, type of event um, and we are looking for volunteers so if you want to go online and sign up to actually work the event be a great way to get involved in the community. What's the theme of the next exhibit, uh, art exhibit? The next one is going to be portraits and pottery. Ooh. So Ooh. yeah which we're all really excited about and that should run about four weeks long so. Yeah. yeah. Cool. The, uh, uh, at the uh, Dragon on the Lake uh, weekend the Art Center usually has a tent uh, where they mm -hmm. have pottery and yes. stuff on display and they usually do demonstrations and I'll see mm -hmm. someone with the spinning wheel making pottery on the street. Yeah and we'll have that really again. Yep, see, we yeah. have all of our potters coming out to give demonstrations and awesome. hopefully they'll be selling some of their artwork there too. That's awesome. Yeah. Perfect. It's a great time. I yeah, mean I, I, I really look excited. forward to it, it every year. So much going on. It's, mm -hmm. it's just great. I'm excited. All right. Well any, anything else? Any parting thoughts? Um, <laughs> we're just excited yeah, we're to, you know, ha host it again. And, you know, after um, everyone not going out in 2020 last year was, you know, our first stepping stone. And this year we're just hoping to get it bigger and bigger and just involve as many people as possible. Because, like you said, it is a, a heritage of Lake Orion. And to be able to share the event and the love of art in the community is just really important to everyone at the Art Center. So mm -hmm. we're very awesome. excited for the event. Great. Yeah. Good. Looking right. forward to it. Thanks okay. for joining us. Thanks for having Thank us.